Now, this is another case. Um, both sets of images belong to a single patient, and the imaging has been performed at two different time intervals. This is a prior imaging, and this is the more recent imaging. Do you notice any difference between the two? Well, on the previous scan, there were obviously several segments of abnormal bowel wall thickening, luminal narrowing, and pre-stenotic dilatation, with some skip areas in between. But the disease was mostly fibrostenotic with no significant signs of inflammation. Now, for instance, look at this structure. There is significant low T2 signal in the wall, which could either be due to fat or because it's a fat suppressed sequence or fibrosis. Uh, and there is no significant bowel wall edema. And then there is fat hypertrophy, but no significant vascular engorgement, no significant lymph nodes. Um, so this was more fibrostenotic. But compare it with a more recent scan. What do you see? Well, the bowel wall thickening has significantly increased. It appears more edematous. There is more surrounding edema and vascular engorgement. Can you see this edema in the fat? So all of these signs suggest um, superimposed active inflammation on background fibrostenotic Crohn's. And in these kind of studies, we would like to uh, provide the comparison in the wall thickening between the two studies. And also we would like to compare each and every segment in terms of their length and the degree of active inflammation. Um, also, we would like to mention what, any difference between the pre-stenotic dilatations. So that's why it's very useful to compare with the previous studies so that clinicians have a clear idea of the disease evolution.